It's time for some more daily race action and mayhem at Laguna Seca. As I mentioned, we're at Laguna Seca in Group 3 cars and have qualified in 9th position. This is a bit of a weird race and the ending is absolutely incredible, so stick around for that. So we are off the line and into the race. Coming up to the tricky first hairpin. Always a dodgy one on this race. I'm a little bit too careful coming into the bend and the Mercedes comes right up my trumpet. Fortunately, I hold the position and he backs out instead of punting me off the track, which is what you normally expect to happen. Going around this bend, I get unsettled a little bit by the sausage. Sell him as a bit of a skid, but things stay pretty much as they are. Round the bend, try not to go wide, getting the power down. Acutely aware of the cars in the rearview mirror, getting close. Which causes me to overcook this bend, slide in, but somehow the guys behind also suffer and I get away with it again. Trying to keep it nice and clean through here it is so easy to come off if you so much as just graze onto the gravel. Heading up towards the corkscrew and another really tricky part of the circuit. Hitting the anchors. I make the mistake of following that guy through. Skidding out. Losing a bit of control and my line is all over the place. Putting the power down too early. Going wide again and losing another position. Let's check that again. As you can see, I follow the car in front, slide out on the gravel, then the Lamborghini comes and forces its way through, which pushes me to the inside of the track. I lose that position, put the power down too soon, go wide and go squiffy off the gravel. So anyway, we're coming around this bend. I notice a yellow flag and there's a car in the barrier on the left. And it was actually the guy in first position. Lost control and into the wall. So that's a free position for me, but it distracts me enough to hit the kerb and somehow I managed to keep control as I drift it round the corner. This has lost me a bit of speed, at least I'm up to 10th now and we're trying to keep pace with the cars in front. Don't have to worry too much for this hairpin because there's no cars around, I've just got to try and keep it clean. Get a fairly decent corner round here. Guy in front's getting a bit squirrely off the gravel. So there's a chance of catching up. Thought I was going to get unsettled by the kerb there, but I managed it okay. Trying to keep it clean all around this section. There's a bit of argy-bargy in front. And the Lamborghini has gone off. As you can see from the clip, Selim has a bit of a nibble at him and tries to force him off the track. He gets hit from behind and has no chance. So that's another free position for me. I'm up to ninth now and hoping to take advantage of the shenanigans up front. Taking this corner a bit slow doesn't help things though. Unfortunately, I'm concentrating a bit too much on catching the pack in front and I come into the corkscrew far too hot. Smack into the back of Selim, although he manages to keep control and make it round the corner. I've picked up a two second penalty for that, which I guess is fair enough. It's rather unfortunate when I'm so close to the pack. But well, that's just the way it goes. I've just got to try and keep it as clean as I can through here. Save me penalty and get back on with the race. I've definitely got the pace to keep up with these. But unfortunately, the penalty sees me disappear into the distance. We'll pick up the action as we go into the final lap with me starting to catch up with the pack in front a little bit. Again, trying to keep it clean through here. As you notice in 6th place, Selim has got a penalty. So I'm hoping if I can keep within a second or so of those guys, I'm going to get another position at the end and put me up to 6th with a bit of luck. Keeping it fairly tidy around here. Unsettled a bit by the sausage kerb, but it wasn't too bad. Trying to get a good corner through here so I can have a decent run up to the corkscrew. Get the power on fairly early. And I'm just concentrating on not making too many mistakes. And another car has gone off in front. And it's the leader again. Overcooked it onto the gravel and has totally gone. But they did recover really quickly and rejoin the race. Well, that puts me up into seventh. Keeping it nice and tidy and another one has gone off. 
Did he get punted? No, he just hit the gravel and spun out. That's rather unfortunate, but it does put me up into sixth place. And with a chance of fifth if I can get close enough to the car in front with a penalty. So I'm just going to try and keep it clean as we go through this last section. Heading up to the final bend. And there's all sorts of carnage going on with cars off left, right and centre. I managed to gain three positions. And I'm going to finish on the podium. Unbelievable. From sixth to third on the final bend. So let's pick apart what actually happened. And just after the corkscrew, the guy in first loses control a bit and gets hit by the pink car in second. Keep an eye on the pink car because it does get a penalty. That's important. He gets smacked by the car in third and that takes out the leader and then he gets taken off himself. Keeping an eye on Selim, you can see he's the guy who smashes him off and then he spins out himself. I'm coming around the bend with the carnage unfolding in front of me as I get through into third place. And remember the pink car picked up a penalty earlier? Well, he loses the lead as he goes across the line. And then I follow up for a totally undeserved third position. Amazing. So that's all for this race. Let me know what you think of it down in the comments. Also, let me know what you think of this style of video with sharing a few replays of incidents during the race. Anyway, I've been Jimsta71. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And consider watching one of these two, or maybe even subscribing to the channel. Thanks again, and until next time, I will say bye for now.